Now, it's a good problem, so do it carefully. See, there's a bucket. And there's water in this bucket. It's a light one, not very heavy. So what you do is you, you take that rope in your hand and you start reeling it vertically like this. You catch the bucket and start reeling it vertically like this. Okay? So the bucket of water is reeled in vertical circle with a string attached to it. Now water does not fall down even when the bucket is inverted at the top. So when you start rotating it, the bucket would come. at the top like this okay and there would be water filled into it but the water does not fall so this is how the motion of the bucket is suppose you are rotating it like this so it comes here and goes at the top. At the top position, the bucket would be upside down, right? But the water doesn't fall, okay? So the options, I'm giving you options and you'll tell me what conclusion we can draw, which is the correct option. Option number A, mg is equal to mv square upon r. r is the radius of the circle in which the bucket is railed. mg is greater than mv square by r option number c mg is not greater than mv square by r and option number d mg is not less than mv square by r these are the four options now read all the options very meticulously and tell me which is the right option. Okay, the right option would be option number C. I'll tell you why. When it's moving in a circular path, then the centripetal acceleration is mv squared upon r. If Now, what happens is, water will not fall. If you draw the FBD of the water, then the only downward force, considering there is no viscous force between the inner surface of the bucket and the water, then the only force on the water in downward direction is mg. Now it will not fall, it will go round and round only if that mg start acting as centripetal force. Like you have sun at the center of the solar system and you have planet, suppose this is earth and this is sun. Earth revolves around the sun. Why? You know because there is some force of attraction between the sun and the earth but that force of attraction doesn't pull the earth towards the sun. Instead, that force of attraction starts acting as centripetal force and starts, and the earth starts revolving around the sun. So that force is towards the sun, but earth doesn't go into the sun because that force starts acting as centripetal force and centripetal force does not change the velocity. It's just changed the direction of the velocity. It keeps on changing the direction of the velocity of the earth and the earth goes round and round around the sun. The same thing happens here. Mg, Mg is acting downward, but that will not bring the water downward. That will keep on changing the direction of the bucket. So if Mg starts to act as centripetal acceleration, and we'll have a greater discussion on vertical circular motion in the vertical plane later on, but just, to, in, just for the sake of solving this problem, Mg will not bring the water down if mg acts as centripetal force because centripetal force the job is to keep the body rotating revolving in a circle right so the job of the centripetal force if that is served by mg then the water will not fall so mv squared upon r this is the required centripetal force mg has to contribute to this if mg is exactly equal to mv squared upon r then it's fine 
the entire force on this bucket is exert the entire force of the water that is uh, mg will be serving as centripetal force but there could be a case when mg is less than mv square upon r so when the centripetal force is not able to achieve by mg then what would happen is see mv square by r if you increase the r then the required centripetal force will decrease so in that case what happens when the all the force that is there on the water is falling short of the centripetal force then the radius starts to increase so water would be pushed upward or water will tend to revolve on a larger circle so what will happen then is radius will start to increase then as it starts to increase but it is tied to a string the bucket cannot go up so water cannot go up but what water will do it will go and press the lower surface of the bucket then a normal reaction will start to appear in water so mg plus n can now add up so that the summation is equal to mv square upon r you understand so if water is not falling that means mg is either equal to mv square upon r or mg is less than mv square upon r so it is definitely not greater than mv square upon r so that means option number c is the right option okay we'll have more discussion on circular motion in the vertical plane